Hey guys, welcome to the video by DJ SPRC. Uh, today I wanted to show you guys how do I keep my wires clean on my vehicles. There's multiple ways you could do it. Uh, you could basically use electrical tape to tape your wires together, things like that. You could use shrink tube, basically put over your wire, the two wires and shrink them together to put it cleaner. Or the other way, what I use is, is basically expandable braided line. You push on it, it expands itself. You can pass multiple wires at the same time. Let's say we'll take this wire right here. And slowly feed it. until it comes out the other end. And instead of having your wire seeing like blue here from the wet noodle and you see black. What I do is basically for keeping this from frayding, I use a, a piece of shrink tube. I just cut the link I need, put it over top of it and then I'll show you guys here. Basically what I do I cut a piece of uh, shrink tube, go on top and gently squeeze the ends to make it fit over the shrink tube. And I grab my lighter, lighter. This is basically like what I do. Now, there's another way I do it too. Now, these guys too, you have multiple sizes of them. This is just a quarter and you do have a, basically, a, if I'm correct, a one eight half inch and three quarters of an inch you can buy. This I got from my local electronics store. The other what I use is basically this tape right here. It's called Tessa tape, T-E-S-A. This tape is basically made for automotive use. You find these this kind of tape in like Mercedes, Audis, Volkswagen. Uh, this is what they use to tape up all the wires inside the car. If you go, if you own a, an Audi, a Volkswagen, a Mercedes, and if you take a look underneath your dash, um, this is what you'll find on the wire itself. Once it's applied, it's a pain to remove off the wire. Basically, I have my FPV box right here, what I built. I didn't do this wire yet, but I wanted to show you guys basically what's the difference. Now I have my four wires loose and my two other wires here. This is what I use. This is the Tessa tape. It stays super flexible, okay? Doesn't, doesn't become hard. This, it's a little bit harder when you twist it, especially with shrink tube, you won't be able to bend it. Electrical tape is good too, it bends, but the Tessa tape is just a better looking, uh, better looking at, and it feels nice. It's a little bit like a felt tape, but it's nice. Uh, even here, my uh, iPhone cable was damaged a bit, and basically this is what I did. Just wrapped it with Tessa tape. And it doesn't scratch anything. It's resistant. The only problem is once you put it on, it is a pain. And I'm telling you, a pain to remove. You just can't take that tip, the tape, uh, the tape I mean, and just remove it like electrical tape and scotch tape. Once it's on, it's on. Just make sure to do it correctly the first time. And this is what I use basically. Uh, Tessa tape. Now, even inside this box here, uh, you have my transmitter, my PVR, and my voltage. Everything inside is tape with Tessa tape to make it look better. Again, this is what I use. Now, if you guys have any questions or comment, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And I will put a link to where I bought this Tessa tape in the description here. I bought this on Amazon. Uh, basically I think I bought five rolls for 30 bucks Canadian and I'll post a link on Amazon and you guys could be able to find it there 
in worst case, uh, if you're American friends or another country, just look up for TESA tape, T-E-S-A. Like I said, I'll post a link below and below here. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, guys. And if you didn't like this video, hit the thumbs down uh, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.